It sort of looks like an air conditioner, but could this machine help take the edge off our drought? The idea is create fresh water from all the air that's around us. KPI X5's John Ramos son, how it works. We wouldn't have to worry about the drought if we could just get water from the sea. But what most people don't realize is that we walk around surrounded by a vast ocean of fresh water every day. It's called the atmosphere, and when the air becomes full of moisture, clouds form in the sky. But it's also happening in Don Johnson's backyard. The, the numbers are so staggering on how much water is in the atmosphere that um, it seems to be a, a pretty renewable resource. At his home in Benicia, the retired aerospace engineer has installed an atmospheric water generator. The machine, from a company called Tsunami Products, is essentially a refrigeration unit that chills the warm air, causing water vapor to condense and drip into a collection vessel. If you have a glass of ice water on a table on a hot summer, summer day, the way it sweats, that's exactly what we do with our machines. Depending on weather conditions, Johnson figures his machine produces about 60 gallons of water per day on average, enough to supply the essential needs of him and his wife. Now, with entire communities running out of water, interest in the machines is growing rapidly. In the last six months, we've done more business than we have in, in three and a half years prior. It's been, it's been incredible. But it's hardly a solution to the drought, says Dr. Helen Dalka, a hydrologic scientist at UC Davis. California needs far more water than the machines can produce. And then there's the cost, almost $30,000 for a household unit. So they're not necessarily cheap. And um, the other question is the uh, electricity or power consumption of these units. But that's why it works for Johnson. He has about nine kilowatts worth of solar panels on his roof, and the water generator uses about half of that. It may seem like an extravagance to some, but he says it won't to someone who just ran out of water. It may not have been feasible in the past. It may not have been economically viable, but um, how much is a, is a glass of water worth when you turn on the tap and nothing comes out? In Benicia, John Ramos, KPIX 